Hello, it's April from April's Home, and today I'm here with my mid-month grocery haul. I went to three stores today. I went to Grocery Outlet, Winco, and Dollar Tree. So I thought I would go ahead and share with you first what I got at Grocery Outlet. So I picked up a big bag of apples here. This whole bag of Honeycrisp apples was only $4.99, which I thought was a great deal. I thought I would try out these zero net carb little mini tortilla shells. I thought that these would be nice for a family taco night. We're having chicken tacos coming up. And then I picked up more of these Annie's little fruit snacks. They are always a good price at Grocery Outlet. Then I needed some eggs, so I picked up 18 pack of those and a pack of chicken breasts here and some more chicken nuggets for the grandkids. I also picked up some fully cooked hickory smoked bacon and some mini meatballs. These are um, Earth's Best and it says there's no antibiotics, no hormones, just nice uh, beef there. So I thought that would be nice to put in a recipe. It says for kids, but I think mini meatballs are nice in little casseroles and bakes and things like that. And then I picked up some crinkle cut fries. A nice big bag of those again for the grandkids. They haven't been enjoying my sweet potato fries as much as my husband and I do, so I figured I would get them some regular fries to go with their nuggets when they're over for lunches. And then I got one of my favorite things lately to get a grocery outlet. These are their New York strip steaks. They were on sale for $5 and now they're back up to $5.99, but this is a relatively large serving here and so far they have turned out wonderfully. They taste delicious. They're nice and easy to cook up. So I picked up four. This will be two different dinners for my husband and I. And then a couple of fun items here. This two pack of Biscoff cookie butter. These are nice big jars. These are bigger than the standard jars. It was a two pack for $9.99, which is a really great deal. I use these to make a couple of different desserts. And so I was excited to get this big two pack. I will definitely have to make some Biscoff pie or um, some Biscoff Rice Krispie treats or something like that coming up for one of our family dinner nights. And then lastly, a fun a little treat here. This is Jelly Belly flavored sparkling water in the flavor chocolate. And it is a zero calorie and no artificial sweeteners. So it's just like, sort of like a sparkling water, um, not artificially sweetened. So just like the flavor of chocolate. I thought that that would be a fun treat um, for the middle of the week when I don't eat sugar. So a fun chocolate jelly belly sparkling water. I'm really intrigued by that. I picked up a couple just in case I like it. Um, that way I'll have a couple to have over the next couple of weeks. So that is my grocery outlet haul. And now I'll go ahead and share with you everything I got at Winco. I decided to stop in at Winco and see if they had any good sales on meats as well as picking up any fresh produce and veggies and things like that that I needed for the rest of the month. So let's go ahead and get started over here. Picked up a bag of salad. Um, I'm really enjoying the cheese flavored ranch salad dressing that I picked up at Walmart in my monthly grocery haul. So I wanted to get some more salad to go with that. I also picked up my favorite salad, the dill pickle chop salad kit. And then they had asparagus. Uh, it was a pretty good price, I think, and it looked really nice. So I picked up a couple bunches of asparagus. My husband and I just love asparagus, especially this time of year. I picked up two bags of cauliflower. We go through this so much. It's always good to grab some when I'm at the grocery store. Same with our broccoli. And I have a fun recipe that I'm going to go ahead and try it with these broccoli flowerets as well. And then some steamable California blend, another one of our favorites. So this, um, this is something I definitely stock up on a couple times a month. I had fish sticks on the menu to have with the grandkids, so I went ahead and picked up these Vandy Camp's fish sticks, just the smaller ones. And then for meat, I can never pass up a good deal on drumsticks. It's so much meat for such a good price. This was under $5 at $4.76. And this makes a lot of chicken. I love to cook up this whole tray and then we can eat it for dinner one night and then lunches for a few days or a couple dinners, whatever 
um, we want to do with that. So I just always pick that up when I'm at Winco. They have a great price there. And then I was super excited to find some reduced priced tri-tips. We absolutely love cooking tri-tips. I just brown them on all sides. Then I put them in a baking pan with a little tiny bit of water, cover them with foil, and cook it on a low temperature, usually like 325 or 300 for a few hours. And they come out so wonderful every single time. And so it was super nice to find some of these on reduced price. I picked up the two that they had. One was $9.47 and one was $8.08. And you can see the regular price, uh, $13.52 on this one and $11.53 on this one. And these have a sell-by date of tomorrow. So as long as I either cook them tonight or freeze them, they'll be perfectly fine. And so it's great to check those reduced priced um, deals when you're at the store. I also did go ahead and get this bigger one here. This one was not reduced, so it was $15, but it is a nice large tri-tip, perfect for one of my bigger family meals, so I will go ahead and tuck that one away in the freezer for the future. Then I decided to pick up some pork chorizo. We had some of this at a family dinner night. We cooked this up with hamburger. My daughter-in-law makes a wonderful enchilada meal using pork chorizo and hamburger and lots of other good ingredients. But we were using the leftover meat because we had cooked up so much. We'd been using it with our eggs in the morning for breakfast. And it is delicious. So I decided to pick up another tube of pork chorizo. I'm going to go ahead and cook that up to have with eggs for breakfast. Got some pepperoni minis for a little recipe that I want to try. Some turkey sausage for a sheet pan meal. Some cubed ham for just a quick meal, nice casserole. I have a recipe coming up for a delicious ham and cauliflower a gratin bake um, that I will be sharing with you and it's really delicious. So I figured I'd grab some ham so I can make it again if I want. And then a couple packs of hot dogs for lunches. I picked up some ice cream sandwiches for the grandkids. We're starting to get a hint of hot weather and so I thought it would be nice to have some ice cream treats for them on hand. Also picked up a nice big family sized bag of Juanita's tortilla chips for taco salads. I picked up more cream cheese. I go through a lot of cream cheese in um, different recipes. Some mozzarella cheese, string cheese, and low fat cottage cheese. And whipped topping. Then for the grandkids, I wanted to pick up these fruit snacks. It looks like a new kind. It says it is apple orchard flavored, and that sounds really interesting. So I'll have to see what they think of these. I haven't seen a new flavor like that in quite some time, so I thought it would be fun to try out. And I also stocked up on a couple of classic children's snacks here, the goldfish and the Rice Krispie treats, and some graham crackers. So that way I'm set for snacks. Um, to have on hand for the grandkids. Some of the whole grain, whole wheat uh, Fig Newtons, we really enjoy those from time to time. Some Colby Jack for hamburgers. Some nacho cheese popcorn seasoning. Some tamed jalapeno peppers. I love these in our jalapeno chicken bake. And then some more Chick-fil-A sauce because our family goes through this stuff like crazy. We are using right now the Walmart uh, brand of chicken dipping sauce and it's great. So next time I'll definitely pick up more when I'm at uh, Walmart, but until then I figured I better pick up another Chick-fil-A. Luckily it was on sale. And then we got some spice packets here, some chicken taco packets, some mild taco seasoning. Then I also thought that I would try out the gluten-free taco seasoning, which I haven't tried out yet. And then I do use this gluten-free brown gravy in our shepherd's pie. That way it is gluten-free. So, um, those there. And then lastly, from their bulk section, I picked up something that both my husband and myself really enjoy, the sliced dried pineapple. So that will be a nummy treat as well. And the grand total for today's purchase was $151.95, which I think is pretty good considering all of this meat that I picked up. And I forgot to mention my total at grocery outlet. My grocery outlet total was $70, about $71, I believe. And this is what I picked up at the Dollar Tree. I did pick up some other items for summer fun, and I will be sharing that in a separate haul. But these are the grocery items that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. Over here, I'm excited to try the Santa Fe blend. I have seen this in other stores. I love Santa Fe blend veggies, 
and for $1.25 I think that's a great deal. Same with the seasoning blend. Then I picked up two of the stir fry blends and two packs of the John Morel sausages, one in smoked sausage and one as a Polish sausage. These are wonderful because it's just my husband and I most nights for dinner. This is plenty to serve up for dinner. I love using these in sheet pan dinners. So I just chop this all up either as a skillet meal or sheet pan meal. If it's in a skillet, I just cook it on the skillet until it's browned. Add in some stir fry veggies and you're good to go. On a sheet pan, I just toss the veggies, even frozen, straight from the bag with a little bit of oil, maybe some Italian herbs, things like that. Put on a parchment lined sheet pan and pop that in the oven to cook until everything is cooked through. I toss it a few times uh, to make sure that nothing is burning or sticking. So right here we've got a couple of dinners here for three dollars and 75 cents so just some fun i love mixing in meals like that uh, occasionally from the dollar tree it's a really great budget stretcher and then i picked up a few snacks here some potato sticks we love those as well as these cheddar fries i love to have a few of these little snacks on hand just uh, for movie nights or if the grandkids are over and we need a little something to snack on with our lunch. I buy raisinets for movie nights. And then these little junior dippers, the cheese and cracker packs are a favorite of both my grandkids and the kids in my Sunday school class. So I love to have those on hand as well. And of these, I'm setting aside these. I buy about one of these every six weeks to two months and I set them aside for one of my treat days. They're delicious, so I, I passed the last two times, so I decided I would grab some and tuck them away in my pantry for a treat day. And then I picked up some gallon storage uh, freezer bags and some sandwich bags. Then I thought I would grab some more fruit snacks. Now we're all stocked up on fruit snacks. I got one kind from each store. Um, figured I'd grab these 12 packs of fruit snacks for $1.25 is a pretty good deal. And then lastly, we couldn't forget the dog. This isn't a grocery item, but I always love to bring him home a prize um, when I go grocery shopping. So today I got him this cute little alligator. So that is my Dollar Tree haul. I also forgot to add in these here. I picked up a pack of bologna and a pack of cream cheese style blend. At $1.25, this is much cheaper than regular cream cheese, so I'm gonna test this out and see what I think. And the total for this is just under $25. So those are all of my mid-month grocery hauls. I hope you enjoyed checking out what I got at Grocery Outlet, Winco, and the Dollar Tree for our mid-month grocery haul. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.